What's going on guys, I'm your casual gamer and in this video I'm going to show you how to set up a PlayStation 2 emulator for Android called Aether SX2. The phone I will be using is a Samsung Galaxy S22 Plus and the controller I will be using is a GameSir G8 Galileo. If you like this controller, the link is in the description below. Okay guys, the first thing we're gonna do is go ahead and head on over to the Play Store and go ahead and search for Aether SX2. This is what the emulator will look like. Go ahead and install. When it's done, hit play. Welcome to Aether SX2, next. You can read the FAQ if you would like, next. This setting should read your phone and determine which one is best for you. If you have a mid to high end device, you want to select optimal safe defaults. And if you have a low end device, you want fast unsafe defaults. I have a pretty good phone, so I'm optimal safe defaults. Let's scroll down. For emulation screen orientation, I will leave this on use device setting. This way, depending on if you turn your phone landscape, portrait, the app will actually rotate with your phone. For the aspect ratio, this is up to you, but I prefer to play my games in widescreen 16 to 9. For the theme, if you leave it on follow system, this app will take the same settings that you have your phone on. In my case, my phone is on dark. For the GPU renderer, I find that Vulcan gives me the best experience, but if you start playing a game and you're getting bad performance, then come back here and try OpenGL and see if that improves your performance. But I'm going with Vulcan. Upscale multiplier. Now you can crank this all the way up to eight times, but it will take a lot out of your phone. So to make sure you are getting the best performance with this emulator, even with a really powerful phone, I would only go four to five times. I'm going four times. Next. Now I cannot tell you where to download a BIOS file, but if you go to Google and search PS2 BIOS, I'm pretty sure you will find what you're looking for. Or you can head over to my Patreon page, link in the description below, and I have a video there showing you where to get a safe PS2 BIOS. So on my phone, I have created a new folder for my PS2 BIOS and a separate folder for my PS2 games. So if we open that PS2 BIOS folder, you will see my BIOS file. Now this is a fresh download that needs to be extracted. To extract files on my phone, I use an app called 7-Zipper File Explorer. You can download this app free on the Google Play Store. Once you have that app installed, all you need to do is go back over to your PS2 BIOS, hold on the file, go down to the bottom, hit more, and then extract to current folder. And there we are, my BIOS file has been extracted. Now back on Aether SX2, let's go ahead and hit import BIOS. Now it automatically took me to my PS2 BIOS folder, but if you need to search for that folder, then up here in the top left, you will see the name of your phone. If you click on that, then you will be able to access all of the different folders on your phone. And right here is my PS2 BIOS. Now when we scroll down, you will notice that you see all of your BIOS files, but you can't see the full description of each BIOS. So over here to the right, click on this icon. And this will put your files in a list view and also make the full description visible. Now there are three files we want to select here, with the first one being this one at the top that reads 3004RV6. This will be our Europe BIOS. Let's go ahead and hit it. And as you see, that's our Europe BIOS. Let's go back to import BIOS. This time you wanna find the scph10000.bin file. This will be our Japan BIOS. And there's our Japan BIOS. Back to import BIOS. And the last file will be scph39001.bin. This will be our USA BIOS. And there we go, we have all three BIOS files. I'm gonna select the USA BIOS. If you prefer the Japan or Europe BIOS, then you can select those. 
next game directories now we have to locate where we have our ps2 roms go ahead and click the plus button in the top left i'm going to click on chandel's s22 plus and i'm going to find my folder ps2 games that i created here it is now guys make sure your ps2 roms is in a dot iso format to be playable in this emulator when you first download a rom it will not be playable you can use that seven zipper app that i showed you guys earlier to extract the game file making it a dot iso format okay use this folder allow aether sx2 to access files in ps2 games allow next setup complete finish and there we are you can see all of my ps2 games now if you ever want to add some new ps2 games to this emulator make sure that your new ps2 roms are in the same folder as your current roms and then you want to go up here to the left click on the three lines and you want to scroll down to rescan all games this will scan that current folder for any new roms and add them to the emulator if you want to add some cover art to your games you will have to go to google and search for the box art and to upload it you want to hold down on the game and then go to choose cover image and i have some def jam fight for new york cover art select the pick and now that game has box art and if you want to change your games from being displayed in this list format to a grid format up here in the top right click on these four boxes and it will change the layout of your games. Now let's go back over to our settings, top left, and tap controller settings. Now I am gonna be using a controller with this emulator, but if you will be using the touchscreen buttons, then you wanna go over to touchscreen, tap on controller view, and you wanna change this from single analog pad to dual analog pad. This way your on-screen touch buttons will have two analog sticks. But since I'm going to be using a controller, I'm going to select none. Also, since I'm going to be using a controller, we're going to scroll down and where it says hide with external controller, I'm going to turn this on. That way when the emulator detects my controller, it will automatically hide the on-screen touch controls. Now let's tap on port one. Make sure that your controller type says DualShock 2. And then we're going to tap on Automatic Mapping. And what this will do is detect the type of controller you have connected to your phone. So let's tap it. So as you see, it detected that I am using a GameSir G8. Go ahead and tap on where it says Select Device. And as you see, it just automatically mapped my buttons for me. Now let's say I wanted to change one of the buttons around that it mapped out for me. If you scroll down, you'll get to all of your buttons. And all you want to do is select the button that you want to change, tap the button, and then you want to hit whatever button on your controller that you want to become that button. Now let's go back. And now let's go ahead and load up a game. Just tap on the game you want to play. I'll do Def Jam Fight for New York. And the game will load up. Thank you guys for watching i hope this video was helpful if it was make sure to leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already and i will catch you in the next one peace